Hey everyone, it's Eric with Nutrition by Eric here. I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. Uh, I want to talk today about uh, trusting yourself and doing what you need to do in life, no matter what the situation is. Um, if you're like me, maybe you've uh, encountered that. Sometimes you had to be, you felt something different. Um, I like to quote Mark Twain. He's had a lot of great quotes. And one of them is, uh, <laughs> everything popular is wrong. Uh, another one is, uh, the coldest day I've ever felt was a summer day in San Francisco. These are a little more coy or a little bit more unusual, but, uh, let's see, another one actually more relevant would be when you find yourself on the side of the majority, it may be time to stop and reflect something like that I don't know exactly but the idea is that he was kind of a kind of against the grain kind of a guy he, he knew um, I mean there's psychological phenomena of the popularity of crowds and there's even a book in, on investing I also invest and it's a mass hysteria of crowds and you may see how animals move you know a lot of people tease groups of people because you know they move like like a herd, H-E-R-D, a herd of cattle or sheep or something. So, um, yeah, I think it's it. it there are psychological. Um, so again, the topic is to kind of knowing when you have to kind of go with the crowd and, and when to go against the crowd. And that can be tough, especially if you, you're the only one. Or so it seems. A lot of times, people, uh, what's it in school says, you know, if you have a question, probably ten other people have a question. So. You know, we're all put in positions of maybe um, where we're a student and there's different power structures between the student and the teacher or the professor. And things can be really challenging. You know, you want to ask something, you want to say something, you may, you know, realize you have different constrictions in your physically in your throat. And if you know anything about like, the chakras, I'm no expert, but there's supposedly a chakra here, an energetic center. And... The idea is to speak your mind, speak your truth. Usually you're not the only one. Maybe at that time you might feel like it. And that's kind of like a, a challenge. So I wanted to encourage you um, that if you do feel something is off, you know, there's a lot of great analogies. There's a lot of great stories that we've probably heard throughout our life. Like think of that book, The Emperor Has No Clothes. That, that was a good story. You know, think of that kid who... If you know the story, I'll tell you if you didn't, if you've never heard of it. If not, look it up. It's a quick story. Uh, the Emperor Has No Clothes. It's about an emperor who, I guess he was either conceited or full of himself. And he wanted the finest clothing. And someone <laughs> had this idea. Some tailor had the idea, well, I'll trick him. Either he didn't have the really fine linen or he just was a real good con man. He said, well, you know, he... Your, your, your highness, your emperor, your, you know, he says, well, I have an, ex an amazing material and it's very fine or whatever the story is, but it basically was nothing. And he pretended to put on a clothing, but it was literally nothing. And he walked around, he believed he had some beautiful, he was donning some beautiful exotic clothing and he was walking around completely naked. But people in his kingdom were so under his spell, either afraid of him or they just kept their mouth shut. And everyone said, oh, wow, that's great. What a wonderful outfit as he was he's trying to show it off in front of his constituents. And one kid, an innocent kid, just said, hey, that guy's not wearing anything. You know, he's, he's naked. And everyone's probably like, oh, shh, you know. So this is a relevant story. I think I've thought of this since like last year. The emperor has no clothes. <laughs> There's a lot of things, you know, that, uh, you know, if, if hypothetically, you know, if you um, could, per, could, it's a good word, promulgate, you perpetuate, if you could propel a lie, or you could propel a story, uh, it's true or not true. And you had the power to, con you know, convey it. 
and you had people in authority that you know were believable it's possible a lot of people could buy it. a lot of people could be tricked look at napoleon napoleon supposedly from my understanding had owned printing presses and he had people write newspaper stories about him so i say this to say you know you have to really it's important rather to to really trust more than what you hear trust your gut it can be a challenge i mean that's why i said and i say before get in nature get somewhere where you can think clear journal maybe you have to kind of really question there's even bumper was it bumper stickers question reality question everything it is a challenge you know it is a challenge we're here for you know as long as we're here for and just because something was true 80 90 percent of the time from your resources whatever that resources in resources are friends family the news just because they've been trusted for a long time doesn't mean they always can be trusted and I'm not pointing fingers I'm not saying exactly who this is but it is uh, the responsibility and the onus of each individual I believe to question and you have that freedom to question well whether if you do something or you don't whether you protest or you you, you tweet about it, or you tell friends, or you leave, or you do this, or you do that. But I, I, I want to empower you and encourage you. You can think differently. And if you're the only one, so be it, you know. There's a lot of great quotes. What was that quote from the Kevin Costner movie, Build It and They Will Come? Maybe he didn't mean it in this um meaning but it comes to mind like you can you can be the outcast you can be a black sheep you can be controversial contrarian i mean someone had to think of all the things in history think about those there's one or two people at least i don't know their names but that predicted a stock market crash you know the great depression in the 30s or 2008 financial crisis you know a lot of them were laughed at even people who talked about Bitcoin, this is, you know, there was one, there's a, I, I don't remember who it is now. I don't know if it really matters, but there are people that talked about Bitcoin 10, 20 years ago. And people were laughed at, oh, that fake money. I mean, it, it's stories like this come up time and time again. And, and I, I love sayings and these kind of stories. There's another saying that says, if you're one head, if you're one step ahead of the curve, you're a genius. If you're two steps ahead of the curve, you're a crazy person. So sometimes, you know, different people like to just kind of blend in. And, you know, I think of like fraternities in school, you know, there's the cool kids or there's the any um, group usually falls in a certain category. So are they towing the line? Are they, you know, they're in a business, a yes man? Or are the people that will say, no, no, I don't believe this. I Sorry, guys, I, no, doesn't, doesn't, no, uh, I can't go with this. Or, or maybe you say, you don't have to necessarily say you don't believe it. You might just ask more questions. Oh, can you, okay, you're saying this, right? X, Y, and Z. Can you prove it? Or have you heard this? Maybe you need more information. Maybe you think you're, you know, we all come to a, con we all come to a conclusion based on what we know. So sometimes we need more information. So it says, oh yeah, I, I'm i definitely, dig, excuse me, digging my heels in more. I'm definitely even more convinced I'm from my stance. Or even say, oh, you know what? I didn't know about that, but maybe maybe it's true. So opinions change, beliefs change, but I think um, I, I sent this quote. Three things can't be held, can't be hidden for long. The moon, the sun, and the truth. Other quote, I got quotes today, is uh, Benjamin Franklin, I believe, said, a half of a lie is a great truth. So you know, you could, you could, uh, have you ever done that as a kid? You know, you say the truth and this happened, this happened, this happened. And then what was that? You know, yadi da or yeah. And then, um, you know, uh, it probably happens with couples, you know, if someone's hypothetically, someone's cheating on somebody, you know, and, and that guy was with a, a mistress last night and the, and the, and the wife or the girlfriend says, well, where were you? Well, I went to a bar. True. You know, for this hypothetically. I went did this, that's true. Went bowling, that's true. I did that, that's true. 
Um, and then I, then I hung out with my friend at his house for three hours. False. Maybe that, you know, five were true and that one or two were false where he was really at his other girlfriend's house or whatever. So you can see how lies can be woven in and you have to kind of just kind of catch them, you know, and they can be anywhere. They can be with friends. They can be with um, political groups, religious groups, any group. I mean, any group. I mean, we're human, right? I mean, at the top, the the top, I always thought, you know, it's perfect. It's great if like leaders, people in, in, in you know, it's nice if people are ethical and moral and responsible. It'd be great, right? I mean, just, oh, yeah, well, we trust them because they're the, you know, they have, what do we have, like a, a scanner? We can say, oh, da -da 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 -da. yep, they're completely honest because <laughs> we know politicians don't lie, you know, never. So, you know, so what I'm saying is, and even for time, let's, like I said, let's say someone told you the truth for, I may have said that, but just worth maybe reiterating. Uh, two full days. So I'm getting ready for that. And go. Sorry about that. Another video playing on its own in the background. So, well, I'll wrap it up. Um, but I just want to encourage you to um, seek the truth. The, the truth shall, the truth shall set you free. Um, it's often, what do they say, uh, it's often a bitter pill. Sometimes you, you don't. If you've, if you've ever seen The Matrix, remember, with Neo, if you've seen it, Neil learned like the truth and, and he like gagged, he like puked. Oh my God. You know, so sometimes you learn about things that are just like, no, no way. Even me as a health coach. I mean, I grew up eating junk and then I, I kind of had a rude awakening. So the spell, you can call it the spell of life. We're all born into a certain, you know, under a certain spell, so to speak. So challenge that ask questions some resources you can look at documentaries you know you documentaries usually are pretty good um especially for food you know I, I like food documentaries you see how animals are treated if you want to know about like uh, factory farming um you want to know about pesticides what's added to food you know um basically it's probably if, if you're let's say grew up without challenging a lot of things you know people opening doors for you you might not realize how much really goes on behind the scenes you know sometimes they use the word rabbit hole you go down the rabbit hole you learn this stuff and you know the word uh, conspiracy theory comes up but is it? I don't know I mean do you do you always I like to encourage friends and family do your own research and you know you can get kind of worked up about it but but th this is it that that's my message for today you know um, be positive be strong trust trust your inner knowing you know trust it even if you're one of the few if you're one of the hundred or the thousand you know what's that saying it says um, don't underestimate the power of a small group to change the world and in fact that is the only thing that has ever changed the world. Think of our forefathers. If you're in America, you know, those, so those stories, only a couple guys came over right from England to break away to make America. You know, probably uh, not all true and not all roses and sunshine and rainbows, but, but you know, trust yourself. Get a tribe of like-minded people around you if you haven't, you know, even digitally in the meantime. So stay strong out there stay positive I will end with um, resources now if you really are have struggling you know use a lot of tools for self-help in general it's worked for me you know food has helped me a lot eating very what I would call clean you know not a lot of pesticides not a lot of processing eat a lot of fruits and vegetables things that really grew right out of the ground apples you know they grew on a tree on a branch you know potato they grew right on the ground or in the ground as close to nature as you can, as opposed to like macaroni or noodles. They came from wheat, maybe, but they were processed. Something had to be altered. Not bad, but I think if you find things that really just grew out of the ground, ideally without pesticides, you know, organic, non-GMO, sometimes these words, wild-crafted, some cool terms out there. So eat a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, get in nature. You can walk barefoot. I mean, if you want to get a little out there, 
be barefoot in nature. There's a great documentary about being barefoot and being in contact with the earth. Uh, grounding is what it's called. Oh, if you want to know the documentary, let me know. If you think of it, I'll try to put it in the description. But um, yeah, just really get close to nature, get some sun. You know, when you go to sleep, make sure it's dark. You know, go camping if you can once in a while. Do exercise, you know, yo um, do yoga, qigong, tai chi, go to the gym, uh, do burpees, you know, sit-ups, push-ups, all that stuff. And journal, listen to something calming, meditate, deep breathing, holotropic breathing. I just learned about the guy who created that. That's about it. So stay strong out there. Um, maybe some of you needed to hear this. Maybe you have some of your own ideas of how you've broken through. Please leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't already, please tap the like button. Click on it if you're on the desktop. And uh, subscribe if you feel motivated to do that as well. Um, Nutritionbayark.com. I've got some more stuff there for you. I've got some merch and podcast episodes. And I'm on most of the social medias. Yeah, and uh, let's have an interaction if you guys want. Put a comment below and basically, you know, guard up, armor up, stay strong, visualize. You've got this, you know, you can do this. So be strong out there. Love to you all. Till next time. Peace out.